if there's one thing that is popular in 2025, it's aging. And we all know that we should build them, but uh, sometimes we kind of wonder, what kind of cool agent can I build to m help make me or my organization more productive? Luckily today, I'm joined by Damien Bird, uh, Used to be an MVP, now joined the dark side yeah. at Microsoft to help uh, lots of big customers make the most out of the Power uh, Platform. Thank you so much for joining me today. No problem. Yeah, good to be so, here. So today you told me you have a really cool agent you want to show me that helps you manage tasks. So I'll let you take it away. Tell us what you've built, and then I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions as I learn about this as well. <laughs> Cool. Cheers, lad. First of all, apologies for the croaky voice, but I have my Copilot Studio agent already pre-built. It's my task planner agent. I have my instructions at the bottom. I can even probably draw, there you go, instructions at the bottom, sort of detailing some of the capabilities of this agent. But as you do with any agent, you can add knowledge. In this case, there's no knowledge because it's ultimately uh, an agent to create tasks for me, my planner board. I think this is the first time I see an agent with no knowledge. Yeah. So like every time I demo it, like you create an agent, you add knowledge. Yep. That's always the first step that you do. Yeah, yeah. And now we have an agent with no knowledge at all. Yeah, I thought, I mean, this is purely to assist me with my, my planner so that I don't have to do things manually, yeah. use the planner app. I'd much rather be able to talk to my planner rather than do it manually. So yeah, absolutely no need for knowledge in this case because I'm not asking it questions about SharePoint or Dataverse, yeah. it's purely do my things, uh, create tasks, etc. I have these three actions already added. It's just a case of adding it all and and uh, choosing your actions to add, to add. And these are the same actions that you will see across the platform. So those are, you're really using the connectors. You're not using flows, things like that. You're just using the built-in connectors. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, in theory, you, you know, you can choose, pick and choose the ones you're, you're looking for. Create a task, uh, update a task, etc. List buckets, which is quite an unusual one. But I've gone through and added these into my agent. And then one of the key things, I guess, to sort of point out is the description, because this explains to the agent how to use that task. Yeah although that's quite a, an easy this description is, yeah, to yeah. understand. Um, and then there's things like inputs, and those inputs can either be custom values, in which case I've chosen to make the group ID and the plan ID custom values. That's my my group ID on my planner and my particular plan ID, because my, my plan is called my group plan. So in this one, in this specific agent, you hard-coded Yes. What plan everything goes yeah. into. Yep. But you don't have to. Um, in theory, yeah, you don't have to. If you're happy to have that conversation with your agent and, and tell it that you want it to go into this particular plan, then if it can find it, then it'll do it. Awesome. Yeah. You'll note that on the on the title, I've got customized sex, it says dynamic. And again, the description comes into play here. So I've said the user might provide one or many tasks, identify each task um, and keep them short and create a new task. You know, again, that's just assisting AI to understand how to I have that. a question for you. I see you have here, you do not need to ask them for a title. Yeah. Usually when it happens to me and I have something like that is because it asks me for a title and then I have to specify, no, you don't need to ask yeah, yeah. me. Is this what happened here? I, I, I've told it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so probably through iteration, very much when you're, when you're building something, I go through the process of like, testing and then changing the prompt and testing and changing the prompt yeah. until I get the desired behavior. So I'll have gone through a few iterations here and probably had that experience awesome. and gone, right, you do not need to ask <laughs> for the title. So that's how that sort of uh, plays out. These inputs, some of them are dynamic. They're, um, well, one of them is dynamic, the title. The other two are custom and fixed, therefore. Yeah. you know. Um, and I've, I've done the same for the other actions as well. So I can create a task, I can list my tasks, and I can update a task. And the reason I've got update a task in there is because the particular action, um, and you'll see actually that the task ID and the due date is dynamic. So that will be pulling those values from the task that's either being created or the task yeah. that's listed. It allows you to update the due date. So when you're creating these things, you pretty much want to go away and have a look at the capability of the actions yeah. to see what they can do. And a create a task, I don't believe can set the due date, but an update a task can. So okay. you kind of have to combine these to create the experience you're looking for. That's awesome. In theory, I could have built a flow. Um, I could have had a flow that I defined some input parameters for a, a task that included a yeah. due date and combined those two 
uh, actions in a flow, and then I'd have like a purpose built, like a wrapper of these two yeah. actions to do that specific task. But I found that I could kind of get away with it and, and talk to it. So that's that's really all there is to it. So you added the tools in here. In your description, I don't remember, and if you go back to overview, yeah. did you add specific, did you add the name of the task? Or for this one, you just let AI handle it and said, yeah. I know sometimes you have to, you know, tell it. Hey, yeah. if a user asks you to add a task, use this the name of the action. Yeah, I mean, if you're looking for very uh, specific outcomes all the time, then you can be very specific in your instructions. The instructions I've got on the screen are based on the sort of copilot wizard experience at the beginning. You know, you have a conversation, you yes. set up the agent, and it gives you some some set instructions. And I said at the beginning, I want you to be a task planner agent, and it went, there you go. There are some okay. instructions to you. But other than that, I haven't... So it's not something you spent hours no, manually no, crafting not with all. love? Uh... No, no. Okay. And the, and the way I look at this as well, this agent really is... I know the capabilities of the actions. I know that it's assigned... or I know that it's connected to my plan on Planner. And I'm just going to have a conversation with it and instruct it based on what I'm looking for. Yeah. So every sort of conversation can be different. You know, sometimes I might give it three tasks. Sometimes I might give it one task. Yeah. Uh, I might say, can you list all my tasks? Or can you tell me all my due tasks in the next week. And those sort of uh, interactions are pretty much non-deterministic. I haven't defined them anywhere. I can have that sort of conversational experience and it will do it. It will choose those, from those tools nice. to get me that information. Um, so for instance, I could say, can you uh, list me my current tasks? And uh, what should happen is uh, the general orchestration <laughs> will go away, look it, at my tools. It's a live demo, you know, yeah. we have to... Oh, there you go, you can see okay. I haven't used it in a while, but it's already gone to uh, listing the tool, uh, listing the tasks. And yeah, it's bringing through the tasks that are currently in my, in my planner. And if I was to bring up my, my planner, there you can see I've got some, nice. some sort of tasks already in there. So that's what it's surfacing, is that information. And... Uh, I could say, uh, can you update the wash a car task to 1st of November, for instance? I'm really curious to see, because here you said wash a car, but the name is wash the car. Is it smart enough to know? Well, it did. Well, let's see. Let's see. Proof. Let's see the, where is the wash the car. So it's currently the 17th to 10th. I'll have to do no, a, a refresh. Close your eyes. For yeah. good luck. Yeah. There, there we go. We did it. So, so it's smart enough to say, hey, it's close enough. That's what well, you meant. What, what's happening is, if we have a look at the orchestration, the activity map, uh, it has initially done a list task to get all of the tasks back. And then it will have done a look at that uh, response data that's come back here. And then using the ID that's come back, that task ID, it's then able to update that specific task. So I think even if I'd said, yeah, you say, I didn't get it quite right. I said wash a car, I yeah. said wash the car. Um, it's not looking for that string like you'd have in, in traditional deterministic like flows, yeah. like condition statements and stuff like that. It's using the language model to look for something similar in the output of list tasks. And it's going, well, it must be that one. Get the and ID, this is where, stick it in. Like Copilot Studio in a way shines more than just doing a Power Automate flow. Yeah, yeah. Because Power Automate flow, it has to be... It's a condition. Yeah, it's deterministic. It, it must match. And even case sensitivity is something you hit in flows all yeah. the time, isn't it? Where you do too low or too upper or something like that. This is using a language model. And ultimately, that's the power of, of the generative orchestration in Copilot Studio is the fact that you have a language model that is able to like reason over that ask and then look for the similar or the, or the most likely outcome. But now if I want to take it to the next level, you see now I'm <laughs> typing. Yeah. Can I talk to it? Wow. This is where I've published it to my uh, Microsoft 365 Copilot. Okay. I discovered that yes, you can use the uh, dictation or you can even use the Windows dictation, the Windows and H key. And I could say, can you create me a task to meet with Vlad on the 29th of October? And if we send that. It's funny that it took the, and I can ask. Yeah. Let's see if it will. Yeah. Well, like, oh, okay, cool. Well, you could ask me. Here we go. There we go. So if we jump across onto the plan, again, do a refresh and fingers crossed. Meet with Vlad. It didn't get the date, unfortunately. Is that because uh, that would technically be two actions that it has to do, right? So it'd have to create it and then update it. Yeah. So what I, again, what I could do. Let's give it another try. Well, Maybe could, not I could today. ask it to uh, update the task. How about that? Yeah. yeah, let's try it. Okay. So 
can you please update the task to a due date of the 29th of October? And we'll send that across. And again, what's happening behind the scenes? It should be looking at those three tools, probably doing a list tasks, finding the Vlad meeting, getting the ID. And it kept the context as well, because yeah. you didn't mention which task. Oh, there we go. Oh, and well, there we go. Yeah, yeah, there we go. It was there. <laughs> it's updated, yeah. Cool, huh? That is pretty cool. <laughs> so technically now you built it with Planner, but you could build this if, like, say, your company uses Trello, mm -hmm. and oh, there's yeah. a connector for Trello. You could build the same thing for Trello. Oh, yeah. Of course, it might be different with you know whatever the connector supports. Maybe Trello, you can set the due date on creation, yeah, and that would be easier. But you can do it with whatever task planning tool. A hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, you you could uh, even like create uh, draft emails or something out on the go. A anything that you can bring a connector in you can now talk to it, <laughs> not only on your PC, but yeah. you know, on my mobile phone, for instance, I can fire up Microsoft 365 Copilot, stick on the dictation and just say, create me a task. I mean, let's try that as well. So Let, let's try, we won't have the phone plugged in, but we're gonna see in Planner if it works. Right, I'll get my phone out and um, do you wanna try it in your voice? Ooh, I can, I can try. Right, so, Create a task to buy Vlad a beer tomorrow. Okay. We're sending it. <laughs> We're sending it. Come on. <laughs> then it's in your task list. You won't be able to... Uh, I'll be getting an email. <laughs> reminder. I get a beer email. Right, okay. Buy Vlad a beer. It says it's being created. Let's have a look. Yeah. But yes. And it and took got the, the date tomorrow. tomorrow yeah. got the wow, date too. that worked. Thank you. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> I, I'm going to love the reminder when you forget to delete it delete, tomorrow. Yeah. No. <laughs> so, but that is pretty cool. And uh, it's really cool to see how easy it is to yeah. build and also how smart it can be. Where, you know, we said tomorrow it did it. Uh, that audio is built in. You didn't have to mm. do anything in Copilot Studio to activate no. the voice, right? No, uh, and I mean, I could come back in here right now and I could say, I can ask, when am I due to buy Vlad a beer? And it's picked up ask, more than it needs. I love, yeah. The agent is gonna be like, this guy's weird. Yeah. Why, <laughs> why is he talking like that? Oh, dear. I didn't find it. Well, I wonder if any of the responsibility I kicks in about buying mm, alcohol maybe and things like that where yeah. it's not finding it yeah i'm quite surprised it didn't find it to be honest i don't know what you want me to do here if you want me to Nothing. try it again no it happens <laughs> it's 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 Cut a live bag. demo we'll figure it out but uh, I can yeah say what tasks we've got tomorrow <laughs> yeah, we can try it and if i jump back in and i could ask what tasks have i got due tomorrow let's go come on by vlad a beer by vlad yeah. a beer uh, yes. <laughs> Last day of the conference, I get three beers. I'll be it's like, awesome. Delete that task. From my... <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, you don't have a delete action, do you? Um, I probably don't actually. No, no I you, I've so got you cannot delete the... it. You're, yeah, that's right. you're stuck with that. But... <laughs> I could change the due date to yeah, uh, uh, next year. Yeah. <laughs> well, this was really awesome. Cool. And uh, you showed us how to do it in not even 20 minutes. And uh, we managed to test it quite extensively yeah. with two different accents yeah. on two devices. So yeah, yeah. That was really awesome. Uh, for everybody that wants to learn more, you have a very popular YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, what is the name of it? Because I know it's not your name. You have no, a... it's Demo Bird 365. Yeah. We're going to have a link to it in the comments. So if you want to learn more about uh, agents, Power Automate, and you do a lot of the stuff of the Power Platform, not only agents. So uh, definitely make sure to check it out. And thank you so much for taking the time today to show us this. Uh, for everybody watching, if you want to see more cool stuff that we recorded at the uh, Power Platform Community Conference. Check out the video appearing on your screen right now. And of course, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you soon.